Today we'll talk about the seven stages of a beginner programmer. And the reason why I'm talking about this video is because a bunch of you are confused and if you mix up these stages, you'll be absolutely f And you need to identify where you're at and you need to listen to the advice that I'm gonna give you for that specific situation. Otherwise, you'll completely mess it up and you'll start selling coffees in Starbucks. Or if you're already selling coffees in Starbucks, you'll stay there or maybe you need to go and stack shelves at Walmart. Please pay attention to this video because it's very important. And the reason why you should listen to me is because I have helped dozens of people learn code from scratch and help them become developers, remote developers. And I also taught myself programming and I was also selling coffees as a barista in London years ago. And to be fair, I wasn't born a programmer. In fact, I came on a chicken truck from Romania. I was cleaning toilets, then I learned how to make coffees in the spare time. I was spending four hours a day learning code and I made something of myself. And I'm gonna help you do the same with yourself. So let's get into it. All right, so you want to become a front-end developer. Do you know what is your job? You might be saying solving problems, right? Because everyone told you that, including myself, right? Everyone told you solve problems and then you'll be a developer. But you know what? That's so stupid if you think about it. Like just solve problems like an idiot all day, like start cleaning toilets and that's also solving a problem, right? In fact, what you wanna do is to create an experience for a user. That is the problem that you need to solve as a front-end developer, nothing else. This is like the main idea, the main sticking point, right? If you understand this, you understand what is your goal, like what is the thing that you need to reach out to, right? And the reason why I'm saying this is because a lot of you don't understand this. And then you show me your portfolios that look like have been made in 2002. And then you ask me what's wrong Everything you've done is wrong because you are not adhering to this rule. You're not creating an experience for the user. Your website doesn't look good. The applications that you're making don't look good. They're not fast. They're not smooth. They're not familiar. They are not modern. Everything you're making is broken because you are not adhering to this principle, creating an amazing experience for the user. Like if you don't understand this, you'll have to go back to Starbucks. You need to start stacking shelves in Walmart. You need to understand this, okay? Now that we got this problem out of the way, let's look at the first stage. First stage is called the noob. This is where you learn HTML and CSS, okay? You need to get the basics of HTML and CSS, what they do, why were they created. You need to understand like overall, what is the main idea behind these two languages? And these two languages are not programming languages. So at this point, you're not a programmer. Now you need to be able to build pixel perfect websites. In my free program, I think is the third link in the description. You learn exactly how to do that. People that work through my program, through the free one that I'm, I'm talking about here, in two weeks, if they put their mind to it, they can replicate the Apple website. In fact, let me actually show you this. This is a clone made by a beginner from my program. And this is what you should be able to do in two or three weeks, okay? If the course that you're following is not teaching you how to do this, and you are spending a lot of time in the theory world and you are learning every day, you are doing this wrong, okay? You need to focus on building projects 95% of your time should be spent applying the knowledge that you have putting it into practice and understanding whatever the hell have you just learned okay there is no other way you cannot learn how to play a piano by reading books about piano or by watching videos you need to actually play the piano it's super important right and you need to understand basic concepts such as flexbox don't learn grid it's unnecessary, trust me. You'll be doing very, very well if you learn just Flexbox. There are so many people that know Grid, Flexbox, Tailwind, Bootstrap, all these libraries and frameworks, but cannot put a layout together and cannot make a beautiful, pixel-perfect website. All right, so this is the first stage. Second stage is where you are a beginner in JavaScript, okay? So your goal should be to learn the syntax and basic concepts of JavaScript, like if else statements, functions, variables, data structures, like objects and arrays, loops. And you have to be able to 
write code on a whim. That's the most important thing. Like if I'm asking you, hey, write a function that adds two numbers, receives two arguments or parameters, whatever, and then returns the sum of those, you shouldn't think. You should be like automatically be able to put that in code and create it, all right? This is your goal. You need to be able to freestyle, okay? If you want to write a function, you write it and then you add an event listener to the DOM and then when you double click, you insert the date somewhere, then you double click again, you insert it again, then you click and then remove the last date that was added. All that bullshit, like you need to be able to like freestyle and write code that doesn't make any sense just for you to understand how code works, okay? Write as much code as possible without thinking. I cannot stress this enough because this is super important. And the last thing that you need to do is to practice basic traversal algorithms, AKA being able to replicate all the array methods, all the string methods that you have available. That's what I tell my students to do. And it's up to you if you do it or not, but all of them, whenever they put that exercise into practice, no matter if they're complete beginners or they've been using Code Academy, Free Code Camp, that thing with the mastery, I forgot the name, Coursera, uh, if they came from bootcamp, whenever they go through that exercise, their eyes are open and then, it can, then they can understand how coding actually works. So I'm actually recommending you to do that. Do it if you want, but I'm pretty sure you won't do it. Medium JavaScript part three. This is where you build toy JavaScript applications like the like a counter app or All right, so I'm a nice guy and I'm going to show you the basic toy apps. There are a bunch more besides this but I just want to show you a simple one, right? Very simple app made by one of my students. This is again made by another student. This is a bit broken, but they are learning how to use the data structures, right? That's very important. And another one. Sorry for the noise, but this is the typewriter, okay? And we have a bunch of them and they all have like requirements that you need to add etc etc you can buy this for like 50 bucks this is the roadmap that i'm using for my students you can buy it and then you have access to all these apps that i'm talking about okay you need to gain proficiency and confidence in javascript that is the main goal of this stage you want to get comfortable right you want to start to feel like you can do it right you become optimist optimistic aka you are riding the uninformed optimist train let me show you what that is all about so here we have stage one uninformed optimism optimism you actually think you can do it right and then you start to realize how much you actually have to learn right and this is where most people get stuck in the valley of despair right they are doing their weird portfolios with their silly apps they're pretty much putting these apps in their portfolios and then they apply to jobs and they get rejected. Jesus Christ, why would they do that? So you're riding the uninformed optimism train train, and you have to like keep building apps, okay? There are I think 10 or 15 apps that you need to build in this stage. Then you have the advanced JavaScript where you have to start thinking in data, okay? You need to start thinking in variables, you need to start thinking in uh objects arrays you need to start seeing everything as an object as a, and as an array if you are at this point at number four where you need to be advanced in javascript and you don't see this as an array of objects there's something wrong with you okay i'm just being upfront with you or here if you don't see this as an array of objects there's something wrong with you all right or if i go to twitter and i'm sorry for my timeline and if you don't see this as an object and you don't see this as an array of objects, dude, you have a big problem, okay? You need to build the three hitters, okay? The to-do app, the calculator, and the Pomodoro. These are very important and you need to make sure that you are doing them right, okay? Don't do them the chat GPT way or the YouTube tutorial way. Do them with the data first principle in mind, okay? If you watch the interview with Basil, You'll see how he talks about the data first principle, which is very important. And most junior developers completely ignore it. And they're not able to make the strides that they want because of that. Next, we have the beginner react part of this transition where you have to start thinking in react and you need to leave the JavaScript mindset, you know, somewhere in the past, okay, in your dirty past. 
you cannot use document get element by id anymore you need to understand how to send data up how you receive it down and that you need directional data flow okay you need to start thinking in components state props okay and they need to be even more comfortable with manipulating data and using derived state okay i'm not gonna get into details uh, about what derived state is but it's pretty much like having two states then combining them into one different data structure or data source okay uh, and this is like level two of understanding and this is very difficult to understand if you are not actively pursuing it okay so i'm just letting you know that this thing exists and then you can figure out how that works by yourself then you have medium react okay this is where you learn about routing and state management understanding architecture and best practices and handling more complex projects like the crypto app that I used to sell or the crypto app that my students used to make. You need to be extremely comfortable with writing basic React applications, making API calls, all this good stuff, okay? And the last part is, the seventh part is the junior developer stage. You need to start emphasizing dry and kiss principles. So dry means don't repeat yourself and kiss means keep it simple, stupid or keep it stupid, simple. You need to start thinking a bit more long term, okay, with the code that you are writing. This is very important and people don't do this, okay? You have to stop requiring guidance and support, okay? Because nobody wants to help you. You don't want to be that guy or that girl that always needs help. You need to be able to do stuff on your own. That's why most people don't want to hire juniors because juniors need a lot of help because they are underprepared. And then you are approaching changes in code with caution. And that's in a way good, but in a way bad, because sometimes you need to delete a lot of code and to redo the job in the right way, right? And because you are afraid of destroying stuff, you will not do the right way. And then you'll just patch things up. Okay. And this is something that you need to keep in mind. You need to be able to start estimating and delivering your work you should start to think about how long it's going to take you to deliver something because your team needs to understand how good you are so they they can also estimate their own work because you need to go at a specific pace right if you don't understand this because you are working by yourself that's pretty bad right everyone wants a developer that knows how to estimate their work and knows how to work in a team okay and um, the last thing is being a team player, knowing how to communicate, okay? Being able to deliver on what you said you're gonna deliver by the time you said you're gonna deliver it. This is super important. And again, I'm not gonna insult your intelligence and in saying that all this stuff is easy, but these are the seven stages that you need to go through if you want to become a developer, okay? There, like most people stop here, somewhere here, all right? and they are fighting in this crazy market, which is not that crazy. It's just a market that requires good people. It's not that difficult. Nobody is against you. You are just terrible, okay? And it's not your fault, but you can fix it. And you can fix it your own way and you can watch more videos. You can try to find more threads on Twitter or you can apply for a free consultation call and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to go through all these stages okay in the most efficient way possible why waste your time especially if you're in your 30s or 40s and if you want to make a career change why would you waste your time on the internet trying to figure out all these things and like puzzle them together when you can just get a system that is pre-made and you just apply it and do the work imagine this instead of spending two three hours watching videos on the internet trying to figure out how this works spend those two hours doing what i'm going to tell you to do and if you have problems, you come and ask. If you need uh, interview prep, you come and you're gonna get prepped for the interview and so on and so forth. The whole thing is done for you. Just watch the testimonials on my website, on my YouTube channel. And all you have to do is you need to be willing to do the work. This is for you if you're a complete beginner and if you have no idea about how code works. And this is also for you if you have some experience, if you finished a bootcamp, if you've been trying, you know, all this online resources you try to stitch them together but you are not getting the results that you want this is for you again 
don't take my word take my students testimonials word and if you're interested go on my website apply and i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.